Hi, Aurora. I'm Wendy Brockman. We have such a jam-packed show for you. Wait till you see what's on the other side of this. You're going to be impressed. Lane, I'll trade you, though. Hmm. We'll <laughs> take a look what I have. This is my buddy, Pearl. She has some friends who are looking for some new homes. We will explain. It is time for Aurora Now. Think about it. What if you got a second chance, a real do-over? Rudy Sai spent 17 years in prison. What he's doing now, he could have never predicted. Inside the Mile High Workshop in Aurora, lives change. Rudy spends the day preparing latex stuffing for pillows. And to him, it's much more than a job. You develop a sense of word that it's hard to describe. But the road here was rough. This is hard to talk about. Police stopped him for drunk driving. When I got out of my truck. And Rudy ran. I had a pistol in my hand. I popped off a couple shots. I came so close to destroying another man's life and his family. It was uh, devastating. I'm just so thankful that uh, nobody got hurt. After prison, he went to work at the Mile High Workshop. Rudy's an amazing guy. You can tell that he's committed to moving forward with his life. We exist just to, to give them the opportunity and a chance to, to find that within themselves and to actualize that for themselves and move forward. Every human being is valuable. We're manufacturing a lot of products, doing a lot of work for companies. It's not just pillows, woodworking, cute bags made out of recycled paper, scented soy candles, hemp lotion. Big, small, local, international. So it's production with a purpose. People who were homeless, on drugs, or even in prison get a paycheck and job training. Plus, they're part of a community, a family. Oh, gosh. There's no judgment, only support and the tools to start again. If there's somebody that sees this and, and, and would like to uh, put me to work somewhere, man, I'd like to show you what I got to offer. Well, Rudy, you got your wish. We just found out he got a job, an official job. It's a sewing job, and it's what a call, he's called a main cutter. Very nice. Sewing pro yeah, it's amazing. Well I'm so deserved. proud of We him. had such a great time getting a chance to meet Rudy and walk around the Mile High Workshop. We did. The stuff that Andy and his team do, they really are exceeding expectations and really making life-changing memories and moments for these folks. Yes. And now, in case you're wondering why he, we have pillows. Time for a nap. <laughs> We're not taking a nap. Later, we're going to introduce you to a woman named Lindsay, and she's going to help tell the story behind these pillows and why Ooh. they're some of the best. Take it for a spin. They're soft, some of the best in the country. So stay tuned for that. You can't imagine sleeping without one, right? This guy is a top seller. But what's so interesting is that it's made right here in Aurora, and the people who are making them are stitching their lives back together as well. Lindsay Brock had never sewn anything before she came to the Mile High Workshop. In fact, she'd never really had a steady job. It's been rough. I'm an emotional person, so it's hard to sit here and talk about, but like the people here are just amazing because there's not many places that will give you a second chance or that believe that people can change. Like Lindsay, employees here have been homeless, in jail, and addicted to drugs. Just because you've messed up, you know, we tell people a lot of times, like, you aren't defined by your worst day, your worst years. Uh, you know, you're, you're alive, you still have a future in front of you. By making real commercial products for all kinds of businesses, they get job training. So that's happening Monday. And support from a staff who care. I feel like I can actually make something of myself as long as I stay on this path. And the pillows sold worldwide. The Washington Post said they were the favorite of 2018. So this is how it works. Lindsay makes the pillow case. They stuff it with an all natural latex. Then they shrink wrap it to ship. The rest is up to you. We all sleep on really good pillows around here, as you might imagine. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's yes. so cute. Now Lindsay sleeps better with a career as a seamstress and a real home for her family finally within reach. I feel like there's hope now, so. <laughs> it is called the Ever Pillow by Infinite Moon. 
Doesn't that feel yummy? It's amazing, actually. I know. <laughs> and you know what? They love that they partner with Mile High Workshop. They're calling these actually pillows with a purpose. Yeah, and for good reason, too, yeah. because it's clear that they're really changing lives one life at a time and with people learning all sorts of great new skills. So it's yeah, awesome. It is. And I want to show you guys this. Mile High Workshop's executive director, Andy, sent us this. Take a look. Hey, some guys at the shop wanted to make this for you as a way to say congratulations on your new show. Thank you, Anne. Did <laughs> and you see how is. I like? <laughs> uh, yes, here's the awesome artwork. We're going to find a great place to display this it's in cool. our studio. It's, Isn't it cool? It's almost like a cutting board, but it's a little more rough than You know, that. it could be if they stained it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, they have some really skilled workers in their woodworking shop, and we're so happy that they made this yeah. for us.